guys, here we go. So we got Fisher vs. the Moon. Fisher, the monster DK player from uh, Mayapak, New York. Uh, Secret Boss. Um, then we got the Moon and Up and Coming Marth from uh, New York City. The Moon just 2 0 Egum. You guys will probably see that online soon. Um, Fisher's really good versus Marths. He, uh, he double three stocked uh, Tech Zero and Pools or something like that. No, I, that might not be it, I forget, but he's raped. That's what it comes down to. A lot of experience in the matchup. Uh, Fisher, the player known for playing with the Avalanche crew, who used to run upstate New York. It's them, and uh, let's see. Um, I, I know. I'm going to commentate for this one. Or at least this one. Um, Fisher plays with Soul, Kai, uh, Bino, uh, T Webb, Ryan playing with people like uh, DJ Nintendo, Alucard, Dionis, sometimes Hacks, and J Man. Uh, so, two very respective crews here. Soul, a notorious player uh, for having big character diversity, so Fish has a lot of mud practice versus him, a lot of sheet practice versus him, things of that nature. Work. And we got Prog Duzo on the mic as well. What's going on, Prog TV? We got Fish versus the Moon. We got Fish versus the Moon. I was just I'm talking wrong. about uh, Fish's representation of uh, Upstate and uh, the Moon of New York, who they play with, etc. So on and so forth, right? So on and so forth. Uh, right now, we're I don't know. The Moon looking like he's having a hard time killing this Kong right now. Now, the thing, well, touche. But the thing, we got D1 on the mic as well now. The, the thing about uh, this situation right here is that while the Moon is like definitely a solid player, he doesn't have matchup practice versus right. a Donkey Kong. Right. Um, or at least one of Fisher's level. When Fisher is one of a premier Donkey Kong. If, if not the best DK in the United States, I would say. I mean, he's he's definitely up there. He's he's put the time in. He has some very impressive Ws. Uh, Another secret boss of New York. I mean, that's the thing. People don't understand our region. We have tons and tons of uh, underground players. Yeah, and a lot of them who don't show up to events. Yeah. Like, for example, uh, what's that one guy who uh, plays League Legends? Uh, Nico. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's a fraud. Shout out to Fanatic. <laughs> Shout outs. Um, but we have a... Uh, this is going to be a tight battle. The Moon's a really solid player, but Fish just has that Magda practice, and he just knows what to do versus Marth. I, Marth versus TK is also more or less, I would say, a 50-50 matchup for the most part, if not. For, for those of you who don't know my matchup ratio system, it's either an even matchup, or historically, it's sort of been in one person's favor, but still winnable, and then a 90-10. Right, where we, you're not going to win it. Where it's just like, if the other player is good, you shouldn't win at all. Now, I would say that this matchup is even or even-ish with like a slight nod to Marth but like when you have a Kong oh my god taking the double jump and that's it just like that the moon falling ahead let's see uh oh uh oh this could be trouble though see, that's the thing with, with cargo up throw um, DK gets a guaranteed follow up on a lot of characters including floaties oh my god that's spacing pretty sure the startup of that move has juggernaut frames Ooh, and that's awesome. Uh, the last hit of the up caught the moon out of his shield and prevented the shield grab from there. Oh, man, Tipper F smash. Oh, my God. Fisher just doesn't give a fuck, man. This dude. So this is, right now, right now you're seeing Mark play the matchup pretty well, I would say. Like, yeah, yeah Dr. Kong up in the uh, platforms and he's getting pressure by Mark. Oh, that's it. The moon takes game one. Damn, the moon with that crescent slice. Yeah, I don't lie. I was coaching him and I told the moon just to keep him in the air. Oh, uh, D1. D1 acknowledging on Mike that he just gave some coaching to a your box. Where you at? <laughs> Bishit, Bishit uh, looking a little concerned right now. Bishit actually is someone that has been exploited a lot in the anti-coaching uh, metagame. Oh damn, I feel bad bad also. Running it back. Alright. It's interesting seeing how Dunk Kong's taking the back of the platforms as well. It's not something you see very often. Yeah. He, uh, he has a lot of tricks. Essentially, the, match, the matchup here is who can stay below their opponent better. Okay. Uh, DK, sort of like Ganon, he just dishes out a lot of damage off a few hits. Right. So he just needs like a dare or a, a cargo grab or a back air to get something started. Uh, Marth really is looking for an up throw. Even if it doesn't guarantee combo, it gives him positional advantage. Right. Something like up tilt. Um, let's see what else. Uh, there. Yeah. 
You know, it's interesting. Dionis was making a point the other day how, you know, the thing that really set Bomb apart, nice crack. It's one thing that the upstate people say, don't jump into DK's hat because you will get cracked in the face. Right. Um, the one thing that, you know, Bum did that other DKs don't really do is he was really willing to play absolutely patient as possible. And that's not to take anything away from Fisher, but, you know, you see Fish going in. Fish is trying to, you know, get he's in on the moon. He's behind exactly, all the exactly. And, like, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but if you look at old Bum videos, this dude has just taken days and days and days to decide what to do, you know. Fish had, uh leaving the edge a little too early there, trying to go for the up game, but still has the stock lead. The high percent doesn't really mean too much. This is a big, heavy character. Mark doesn't really have a flat-out, hey, I'm going to kill you move outside of a tipper. Right. Um, Again! Uh-oh. And DK's on the ground. He lands the crack. You don't jump into his head. Interruption with the uh, bear. Another up, up air. Right now, DK looking like he's about to die out the top. Yeah. Now he's fighting position. Oh. Back in. Ooh. Barely evades with that off. Wow, look Four at that. Three. Oh, he's dead. Wow. Yeah, right there. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Man. Just catches him walking into it. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, DK has guaranteed cargo up throw up air at least on a large amount of the cast. Here's another thing. It is so tricky to edge guard him sometimes, I gotta tell you. Man. Again. Oh man, Fish going for the all or nothing right here. But he's back on stage, he lands the crack. This could be very bad for the moon. Oh no! Here's a two high percent to crouch cancel into down tilt. That would have probably been a KO right there if that did work. But this is where the matchup gets really okay, there we go. 270. That is ugly as hell. I don't even know what to say. By comparison, all DK needs is to get Mart to like 100. Yeah, if that. You know, just a couple of quick back airs on the piece really good position. Okay, we got some back airs. Oh! Fish! That was a really nice setup right there. Forcing him to up be early. Look at that. Oh, doing a good job of keeping him on the ground. Nice. Reminds me of a Samus combo. Okay, but only not school. <laughs> Samus on blast, man. DK, three hits. Oh no! Wow. And fish fires right back. So uh, how about that Manny Pacquiao? <laughs> okay, the moon's probably not feeling so good right now, but he does have the stage three counter pick. I'm curious to see where he uh, goes here. When this is done. We're playing much like a TV. I am totally fine with that. I have to play Hungry Box after this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you gotta play? Yeah. Wait, did you play DJ? What? Play DJ? Yeah. He doesn't have to, he doesn't have to play DJ. Oh, shots. Shots. Oh. Alright. There's, there's some blasphemy going on right here. Game three. FD, this is an interesting choice. I, New York is giving uh, the moon advice. That could backfire against him. I mean, yes. you you gotta let you gotta let him play his game. Yeah, I hear, I hear DJ in the background saying something very true, which is that if you get DK in the air, he doesn't have the platforms to come down. But the thing is, DK gets some punishes he doesn't get on other stages here. Also, Marth needs, oh my god, Marth also needs platforms to recover sometimes, and, you know, DK's recovery, I would argue, is better in this matchup. Oh, and that's it, he's dead, he just needs to grab the ledge. Yeah. I'm saying, I, I don't know if this is really the best choice. Something like Yoshi's, you want to, you don't want to give DK space. That's really what it comes down to. I like facing oh DK, god. if you're playing the matchup, when you're facing your opponent, usually that's the wrong way to play it. Exactly. See, that's the big reason why Falco absolutely obliterates DK, is that he forces DK to face him at pretty much every single exchange. Like, right. anything like a laser or something will immediately turn DK exactly. around. Right. Um, and DK's, one of DK's biggest tools is that back air. Yeah. Oh! oh my God. This shit's down B-Tech chases, man. I don't even know what to say about I this. I have never seen... He's very good about it. The, the range is misleading because it hits a little behind him as well. Oh, yeah. And it, it goes out a little farther than one might expect. Nice spacing on the moon spot right there. Oh, man. That's it. Oh, fish missing the grab, the edge grab. And I swore a crack was coming right there. It looked all too certain. Oh! But just like that, we have a tie game. 
swear to miss. Oh, no. Oh, he's losing his head. Oh, my God. Oh, hey. Fish uh, needs to reestablish momentum. Also, one thing that you guys can't see is that Fish is maintaining his composure, you know. We have all of New York City and G Money going for the moon right now. Yeah, G, G Money in and of himself is like 45 people, so. Yeah. Oh, that might be it. Just grab that ledge. Oh, taking too many. Oh, my goodness. Just as I said, taking too many risks, he puts my mouth to shame. Hey. That's no reward. That is the jank of DK, though. Who am I to say? Although, one thing I will comment on is that I'm noting that uh, this DK is not back wearing blue. Historically, blue DK is usually the best DK of all. <laughs> Alright, so we have a tight battle. Oh, here we go, big punish. Wow, G Money just talking so much shit. Let's go, Adam! Let's go, come on! And the crowd now is. Now Fish has a big positional advantage at this reset. The thing, the thing is, is that unless the moon can get like a good grab right there. Oh, I'll throw up there. Oh my god! I, I don't think that works, but it just, Fish just keeps landing it. Might be DI dependent again. Yeah, I'm back to knowledge. This could be bad. Oh my god! Oh my god! Just look at my Fox out there. Do it for the moon! Do it for the moon! Oh my god, fish is... What is there to say about what just happened right there? What is there to say? Wow. I don't even know if I've seen that kind of disrespect in my life. But look at this DI. He's not dead, he's living. Man, fish it is just not... Oh! One grab, one grab and it's done, but same time, one grab. It's anyone's match right now. Oh god, this will be trouble. Bishop being very safe, trying to reset. Okay. That's it. Great, great set. Great set. The moon has been obscured by clouds. Stop yeah. fishing. The moon! It got raids. <laughs> Alright, I have to play Hungerbox. Peace out, guys. Oh!